Hello everyone, this is Karst, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. So, last episode we finally made it over to Old Garlow's place in order to help the hag survivors. We uh, managed to locate good old Marina from uh, Act 1 and her undead husband who's still hanging out with her. I don't think this is necessarily going to have a happy ending, but hey, at least I'm, I'm glad she's doing alright. Um, now with that in mind, the current plan is to head over to westbound I think I'm gonna head west deal with the murder target in Alexander and then I'm, I want to do the blushing mermaid stuff because that's gonna double back to um, handling the hag situation so that'll be exciting I'm sure but first things first I think a long rest is in order considering our rather rough state in terms of HP so who am I gonna replace oh Mizora what do you want What have you got for me? How good to see you. Sure, let's go with that. Yeah. Come for a chat. Hey, you're the one with the exclamation mark up above your head. Okay, never mind then. Now who wants to talk? I need hey, Carlock. The two of us. So, Gortash's parents sold him to a warlock. Why does that sound so familiar? I've got no interest in empathizing with the but maybe what he did to me was some kind of mirror of what happened to him. Uh, I mean, he could also you just be a prick. Up, yeah, up right back. You may want to uh, watch your language. The video only just started, Carlock. I might have to mute you on that, unfortunately. Um. Okay, so long rest it is. Please and thank you. Yes. I'm seeing no one else with an exclamation mark above their head, so I guess we're good to go. Here goes nothing. Indeed. And how are you doing, kid? I brought my own. Still doing fine. Nothing new for you. Okay. Good enough. Good night. I trust no one's going to disturb me during my sleep. Good. Um, in that case, we're just gonna head out west, as I previously mentioned. Uh, I hope I don't miss out on too much. There's a few buildings around here that I should probably check out, just in case. I've already been in here. That's where the uh, possessed par the possessed parents are. Um, but there's a building right up here to the north that I kind of want to take a peek at. I don't think I went in here. And there's a plaque and everything. So let's find out what that is. Start breaking heads. That's fine. Good. They can't take me on. Unless they all run at me at once. Sorry, I can't sell you the broadsheet yet. Got to take my stinky break first. Boring. Oh, you're being forced to take a break? You'll want to learn to appreciate those. Look, pal. You want a broadsheet? You'll have to wait. I'll Kid is sweating up a storm. You got a problem with that? Talk to the Gazetteers Guild. I got rights, you know. All right, well, this kid knows all about that stuff. She, They should be a union rep at some point. Um, okay. <laughs> what the hell's going on up here, Slady Marvin and Splatters Dulug? It's street art. Uh-huh. If you don't like it, you can literally walk away. I'll uh, bear that in mind. I, I like it, actually. Oh. Well, that's nice to hear. Thanks. I haven't even looked at it. I have no... Oh. That's not bad. What? Yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah, go for it. These artist types are always so soft, aren't they? You make one little comment and their egos crumble to dust. Also fair, but, you know. Let's not uh, rock the boat or anything. Um. Okay, so what is this? Laura's home. Who's Laura? Property of Laura Burgors. Due to family circumstances, we are not accepting visitors at this time. An overdue reunion? Laura, how you bloody keeping? Myself and the boys will be making port in a ten day, and we thought it high time we all had ourselves a few gargles in the blush and maid. And we ain't taking no for an answer. How's the little one? Bet she's as tall as myself now. My own boy outstripped me last year. They grow up so fast, don't they? 
I know you're happier in the city, but dang if we don't miss you on the Liberty. Boarding civvies ain't the same without Quicklip Laura. Yours fearsomely, Tim Two Fingers. Okay, former pirate. Hello. Laura's home. And there's Laura. You're here. Oh, that's this right. This is my daughter. <laughs> the flaming fish still have no clue. Useless twats. Uh, I'm working on it. Please, don't give up on her. I'll try my best. So you're a former par pirate. Interesting. Okay. What class are you? I guess it doesn't really tell me, does it? You're just human. Okay, fair enough. Let me explore your house. There's a treasured map. Not necessarily a treasure map. Um, I Presumably that's the bed for the kid. Fine. Some graffiti back here on the outhouse. Um, okay, so now it's labeled as Laura's house. That's helpful. That's helpful. CC Gabor is someone standing on a sewer grate or something. Oh no, it's just like a random rug. It looks like they're supposed to be a salesperson, but um doesn't look like they've got much in, as far as wares go. Interesting. So I could double up around here, like I said, like you know, in in my uh, in my urge to explore. Part of me really wants to continue going up into every other house, but I do want to still stick to what I said and uh, get through this area first before worrying about the bigger picture. So. Um, in that case... Well, while I'm here, I can look in this. This is... Ooh, stuff, yellow stuff. Lavernica's home. Lavernica, groundskeeper of Bloomdridge Park. Lover of birds. Oh, okay. So there's a... There's a full-on... Okay, so basically, there's a really nice park over here next to the graveyard more or less which somehow makes perfect sense okay oh and it's locked all right we'll deal with this later we are sneaking in obviously but not not right now not right now so uh any what the hey it's incredible it's you the the creepy dark elf uh, do I have a Starion with me? I do. Perfect. <laughs> a bit of a weird reunion. How are you, Araja Blodra? Oh, my silk. What are the chances? It's you. And ah, oh, the heart-stopping bloodsucker. Ever since our last liaison, I haven't been able to get you out of my mind. <laughs> Nor have I. <laughs> no matter how hard I try. I'm glad he was along with me for this. Give the mess. Your blood is far more volatile than I'd anticipated. Oh, you're still playing around with my blood. Um, our blood caused that explosion? Um, are you alright? Never better. Don't mind the mess. I've been doing fascinating things with your blood sample. Just do me a favor and have no blood magic and nothing that can affect me remotely and nothing that can hex me or curse me or do anything to me. Thank you very much. Um... My blood caused this explosion? It's a breakthrough in the sanguine arts, the likes of which the world has never seen. The Grand Matriarch will have no choice but to restore House of Blodra after I present her with my research. But listen to me, rabbiting on about myself when I have you, the prize bleeder, on my very doorstep. A prize if bleeder. Inside, we could discuss something far more exciting than drow politics. Uh huh. Lead the way. You lead me first. Uh, Astarian. No, Astarian. I am literally never going to build him up. I am so sorry. I'm like, what? Like two thirds? Well, I'm in chapter three. I'm like three quarters of the way done the game, and this man. <laughs> This man is still traveling down on the disapproval side. <laughs> oh no. Okay. So, Crimson Drafts. Open investigation. Dear citizen, we have received a number of complaints about your business in recent months and believe it is time we open a formal investigation in accordance with the Public Health Act and Civilian Protection Order. Any attempts on your part to hinder such an investigation or to flee Baldur's Gate during the investigation period will be held in contempt of the council. Regards, the Flaming Fist. Hilarious. Help! Uh-oh. 
When the hells did you do to me? My limbs are moving of their own volition. My blood boils like burning oil. And I haven't slept for a ten day thanks to the voices. You need to fix this. The note goes on, but the rest is illegible. It's the handwriting is too erratic. Oh, that's concerning. This is Tefoko's home, which is locked. I will nag them next. So, um... Experience just for coming in here. I mean, I'm glad she's okay. Okay, what now? I'm picking that up. Thank you. Moving in. Uh, did you come downstairs? Why are there pieces? Why are there pieces of people? Why do you have limbs? That seems pretty bad. And then there's the hatch. Where the heck did she go? Oh, she's upstairs somewhere. I must have walked past her. Well, in the meantime, while you're upstairs, I'm just going to go down the hatch. Don't mind us. Sanguine Laboratory. Uh, Beholder Iris, whatever that is. That's a bomb. Something? No, no. Purple Worm Poison, that seems bad. Uh. Why do you have a dead spectator down here? And a parasite specimen, okay. This is all pretty bad. This seems pretty bad down here. Hmm. I still have a key, so I should, in theory... Did I just walk over the poison? Okay, I did, but nothing bad happened, so I'm, I'm okay. Uh, Astarian, do me a favor and get me through here. This lady is not trustworthy at all. <laughs> There's too much going on here. I don't necessarily want to kill her, but... Okay, I thought that was a person's dead butt. Why do you have a chained up skeleton down here? Why do you have multiple chained up skeletons down here? Why do you have an upside down hanging corpse? We have a lot of dead bodies in the basement. How much further can uh, I, go? I feel like I should ask her about this. This is pretty rough. Parasite specimen. Kind of want that. Another dissected body. Artificial leech. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think we're going to have to have a talk about this. Unfortunately. At your command. As much as I wish I didn't have to, because I don't want to potentially have to murder you, but... Uh, let's get in there. Go! Everyone's just standing on the poison, apparently. Okay. That's fine. That's barely any damage. Uh, everyone out. Everyone out. Don't waste a step. That's okay, it's just 10, 10 damage or something. It's, it's not the end of the world. It doesn't paralyze or anything. Now, if that was like parasitic poison, then that would be really diabolical. Um, okay, let's not take everything. But I kind of want to talk to her about what's in the basement. So, um, Araj, I find you mildly concerning. Ah, a cozy little spot, isn't it? These four walls have witnessed greater alchemical triumphs than the keep of Erngarth Durand. Sure. But now that you're here, the crown jewel of my research is soon to be faceted. All you have to do is drink Formula Gruna. Excuse me? Formula what now? I you haven't forgotten what happened when I drank something she offered. This formula won't be any kinder to you. Okay, so what will this formula do? When you first entered this home, you saw the incredible latent power within your blood exposed in all its nuances. Formula Gruner will unleash that power within you. Won't that just blow me up from the inside? Risky, but um, safe. That seems unlikely. Do you drink everything any petty mixer places in your hand? <laughs> you must have a most colorful chamber pot. Yeah, this seems like a terrible idea, and therefore I will do it. <laughs> Normally I'm so suspicious and cautious, um, especially in video games too, but I'm kind of like, you know, 
There's a chance in this case. Formula Gruna? Why'd you call it that? What does that mean? Well, yes. Formulae Arku through Fruak were spectacular failures. Oh. But Gruna. Gruna is different. Believe me. This seems like the dumbest possible play in the world. Hand it over. Oh, marvelous. I've never been so excited for anything in all my days. Just stand over there. Far over there. This is mildly concerning. <laughs> oh, this is a terrible plan. Okay, I'm gonna drink it and probably explode. And then, I mean, hey, it's the world of D&D. &D. All they need to do is talk to Withers and bring me back. Oh, boy. I'm going for it. One to four damage. Drink it. And I blew up. The funny thing is it didn't do that much damage to everyone, so there, there's that. Uh, do I have more of it? No, it's gone. Alright, well, that was entertaining. Hey, I, I blew up as expected, but at least I didn't, like, die instantly and implode. Oh my. My heavens, you lived! Okay. This is incredible! I'm seeing stars! Were you expecting me to die? Are you an assassin? Yeah, you seem surprised. Had you expected me to die? I kind of want four, because it's the drow option. I should have known you would turn on me. We might have left the Underdark, but its treachery is never far behind. My friend, I had no such intention. You don't know what this means to me, to my research. You are the world's first detonative exsanguinator. To put it simply, from this day on, your blood goes boom. Big boom. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Okay, remind me never to get an office job. All it needs is a spark. A paper cut can be deadly. <laughs> uh, So how do I activate it, though? Is it a spell that we're going to get to cast? Is this going to kill me? Certainly not. But it might do damage to anyone who makes you bleed without your express permission. Okay, I can give consent. Good, and good. Actually, I always ask first. <laughs> I'm civilized, unlike you. No comment on the first time you tried there biting are me, right? Necks available for biting, of course, if you were so inclined. Uh, sure. That seems quite powerful. Thank you. Or can you revert it? What an odd question. Now, let me offer you a little treat. In exchange for the teensiest vial of your marvelous blood, I'll give you something that'll really throw your enemies for a loop. I'll only ask a nominal fee in exchange. Is my blood not enough of a fee? Fine. You really are a fine collaborator. Uh, innovations and volatility. So, Jahera is apparently inspired by that, which is quite entertaining. Does she still have... She seems like she still has the old, um... Ooh. Um, she still seems like she has the old stuff that I sold her previously. Hunter's Mark, True Strike, Fairy's Fire, Guiding Bolt. Eh, we never use Hunter's Mark. None of my characters are Rangers. Exquisite Focus interesting but also kind of meh uh arcane acuity still don't know what that means ring of free action that seems potentially interesting uh risky ring arcane bolstering yeah we never use dash actually is there anything here worth my time sanguine explosive create a surface of blood and it blows up I mean, I could buy a couple of these, but I'm also kind of like... I never throw grenades in this game. And I have plenty of them just waiting around in my inventory. Uh, in the meantime, anything I can get rid of? Yes, indeed. I need to build up my fortunes again. I am so... poor at the moment. Probably don't need this stuff, because it's just weighing me down. Uh... I'm holding on to the Scarlet Armor as evidence, which really doesn't really matter that much. Uh, Malice, I, if I, you can get some me some more animal potion or animal speaking potions, that would be much appreciated. Silk Root, why do I have this? 
It seems like a drug. I don't know why I have this. I don't remember how I got this. Uh, disguise kit, random jank, random junk. <laughs> I, I just, I'm just randomly carrying around Catherick's Warhammer. Okay, well, unfortunately, she really doesn't seem like she has much that I want. Allied Undead. Yeah, but that's for, like, necromancers and stuff. I don't have any of those. This is the most interesting item there. Okay, that's enough for Until me. Next time. Uh, reward. Blood money. We survived the effects of the experimental potion Arajo Bladra, derived from our blood. Now we've got fire in our veins and someone willing to give us explosive blood potions. Lovely. I will never use them, but okay. Glory to the house of Oblodra is a, is a thing I see down here that I want to read it. Uh, no comment on all the dead bodies downstairs then, I guess. Hello? Imagine the look on Mold's face. It is said all House Obladra perished when our estate was cast into the Claw Rift. I am its last living daughter. Now the abyssal gulch in the heart of the Menzo Baranzen, where our house was thrown, is but an amusement. Priestesses make love to their men, bending them over its ledge, sometimes letting them fall. I will travel to the Rift's death to restore our lost home. I shall use the bones and gore of the useless, hapless men who were tossed into the pit to grow copies of the dead. Thus will I generate an obedient flesh army who will die for me and my house. If the rest of the houses refuse to recognize House Obladra's rise, I will use my explosive tinctures to blow the under supports of the rest of the Menzo Berenzen to pieces, one section of the Claw Rift at a time, until all the rest collapses. There, I shall be queen of my new swarm. Okay, well, she's a little unhinged. That's fine, some people like that, I think. Um, too much for me, though. In which case, I'm just gonna head over here to this other locked house. Tofoko's home. Who's Tofoko? Private residence of Oliver Tofoko. If oh. you're not here, I'm waiting to greet you downstairs at Beehive Goods and Wares. Good to know. So that's going to be the general store down here. This is the murder target. Good. I want to go in there as well. We're pretty close to uh, actually completing our goal today. Hopefully. Well, hello. Hello there. Let us in. Wonderful. Let's get going. I'm just waiting. You can stop sneaking now. All right. What have we got? Also, we should probably check their mail. Letter from the field. A letter addressed to Oliver Tofoko. Dear Dad, before you ask, yes, I'm eating. Fist fair isn't near anywhere near as good as your home cooking, of course, but then few things are. And a diet of gruel is a small price to pay for the things I'm seeing. Ran into a bunch of cultists just outside Rivington on patrol the other day. Before I could even draw my weapon, the Steel Watchers blitzed their way in, cut those cultists down to size, and raised the very ground they walked on. I tell you, it was the most remarkable thing I'd ever seen. I joined the Fist for Adventure, but it looks like at this rate I'll be settling for early retirement for want of anything better to do. That Lord Gortash is an absolute genius. I know you've got plenty of Steel Watchers in the city too, but if you could see what they're capable of on the battlefield... All I'll say is, I think the city's plenty safe so long as Gortash is in charge. At this rate, the war will be over before it's even started. So, just sit tight, and I'll try to bring you back a souvenir. Reckon next fight I might be able to salvage some cultist armor if I'm lucky. Love you lots, Daryl. I hope he survives. Um, congratulations. And a surprise. Uh, does this explode? Um, Dear Bubbles, I can't believe my oldest baby girl just had her own baby girl. I'll come out to Stony Eyes for a visit as soon as I'm sure the Flaming Fist will ha let me back in through Basilisk Gate afterward. I'm sure you don't want me stuck hanging out in your rooms with a newborn to tend to. Were you surprised to hear the envelope jingle a bit when you picked it up? Buy little Dorimara a cute little hat with a duber on it and tell her it's from Pop Pop. Okay, so the owl bear toys I have has explosives in it. But I think it specifically says that there's an explosive in it. No. Uh. I mean, this is just a normal one then. I choose to believe it's a normal one. Yeah. It doesn't say, oh, there's an like, explosive, so I, I think we're okay. Uh, a wooden chest, don't care to steal from them. 
Nope, okay. I can just go straight down to the uh, to the store then. Hello. Actually, no, this is just their living quarters. Hi from Boar Sky or Boar Skier Ridge. Or uh, Bridge, we're all right. Hi, Papa. How many kids do you have? Coral is making me write this because he still has trouble with his letters. We're in Boroskir Bridge, where the Seven Sons are gathering the caravan for the trip back to the gate. Only the Costerman says departure might be delayed until we hear the road to the city is clear. Some kind of cultist uprising? Anyway, we're fine, and we've learned so much from the older caravan guards. I can dual wield now with a dagger in my offhand. So, got to go, don't work too hard, and keep the beehive buzzing. Haha. -ha. Wonderful. Looks like they have a lovely, um, loving family, which is always inspiring. And now I'm in Beehive General Good. Hello, Oliver Tofoko. I notice, uh, your wife is MIA, and there's a hatch down here, which I kind of want to visit. Um, therefore, you're not even looking. I'm gonna stick my head down there. You better not have any, uh, any dead bodies. Uh, various things to, to take. Interesting. I can't help but notice these are not tagged as stealing. Therefore, it's Need to find a way forward. it's uh, open season. Can I actually go through this? No. All right, you just got a random sewer in your basement. That seems a little unsanitary, but what do I know? No traps, please. Another stuffed toy. Various books. Nothing too fancy then. Uh, I'm okay without. Let's see what this does. Oh, and there's a strong box. Tell you what, I'm not gonna rob them completely. I'll take the painting, and only the painting. Hello. What are you after, friend? Got grub, potions, a few nice vintages. Best stock up now before someone clears me out to fill their larder. Uh, let's see what you've got. Various potions and food items. Not bad. Not bad. Let me just sell you that painting that we found downstairs. <laughs> I don't know how much I sold it for, but I hope it w Okay, it's barely any money. Fine, fair enough. Um, and then there's pretty much nothing else I really want to get rid of, even. Like, the Vision of the Absolute... I guess I don't really need that, but it does additional, like, 12 damage. So... They say there's trouble heading for the city. If that's so, then these goods will be like gold dust before long. Right, sure thing. See you later. Uh, I think I went out the back entrance by accident, but that's okay. Random people over here. Delierna? Oh. Careful. People don't bloody look where they're walking. You're the one walking into us, lady. Folk, can't I pace and think in peace? The cheek of you. Did she just do like a backhand slap animation? Seriously. What's going on here? Don't go peeking in the window of that house on the corner. You might get an arrow to the face. What, you're talking about old Garlo's place? I've already been there. Move along, nothing to see here. At least by day, thank the gods. I wonder if there's a night map, now that you say that. Possibly, but probably not. This is... What is this? Okay, that's the counting house. This is the bank. I definitely don't want to go in there, at least not right now. Um, don't know what this... Oh, this is the murder house, isn't it? Okay, wonderful. So we're down to where we want it to be. Let me talk to CC Gabor over here. I wish I had something to give, but times are hard for all of us. I'm not asking for free stuff. I, you have literally nothing. I'm not interested in whatever you're not selling. It's broken. What, this thing? Okay, what's going on up here as well? There are so many places to visit. So many things to do. There's the blessing, uh, Blushing Mermaid, okay. Hello, Drabeldix. Might have to switch to ale if the water supply keeps failing. I like her voice. You here for water too? No bother, it's broken. Just like the rest of our public services. Lovely. And uh, let me talk to these folks before I actually go into the uh, the murder house. One last binge is just what we needed. Because tomorrow, we wake up as flaming fists. How lovely. You're joining the um, the cause. Oh, that plum prosecco. Oh, God, never again. Never again. 
Solemn oath. Solemn vow. Solemn. Uh, uh. <laughs> All right, he's having a great day. And Oak Nuzzle, that's a name. Canales, Bonds, Dickon, you're wasted. Wasted. <laughs> I mean, at least someone's having fun. Okay, wonderful. Uh, we're now going to go to the murder uh, target's house. I know I've been calling it the murder house, but that's just because it's like locked up and it looks vaguely broken. But I guess this is technically a window? I don't really know. Rainforest's home. Really? Who's Rainforest? I thought they were Alexander. This is the private abode oh. of Alexander Rainforest. That makes sense. Fair enough. Friends make appointments. Clients respect office hours. So, what is this? A lawyer's office or something? I guess there's a back door we could use that's not locked. But we could also... Eh, yeah, we should probably go in through the back door. Municipal Sanitation Notice. The Department of Drains and Underways is aware of the issue of the penetrating stench emanating from the round street hatches that provide access to the city sewers. The tribe of gutter kobolds contracted to maintain the free flow in the sat sanitation tunnels appears to have been slain or driven away by forces of or circumstances unknown, and the resulting backup is responsible for the unpleasant odor. The department is taking appropriate measures to remedy the situation, but in the meantime, do not attempt to address the situation yourselves. Citizens are prohibited from using the round street sewer access hatches. Leave sanitation to the professionals. So you're telling me that I can enter the sewers from the hatches, right? I assume that's what you meant. Bloodied note. That's concerning. Um, this scrap of bloodied paper is scrawled in an erratic, excitable hand. You've been picking where you shouldn't, pear tree. Placing the Lordlings fire spitters throughout my city? Disgusting. They leave no blood, there's no art to it at all, just burnt ash and corpse cinder. I walk through your basement here as I pen this. It's rather large. Roomy. They never find all the bits of you if I spread them out here properly. Is that a threat? Okay, so I definitely want to find my way in from the side, although this looks connected and looks like a separate uh, ap uh, apartment. This is probably leading towards the... Oh, this is Hank's home. It's not actually the uh, blushing maid at all. The singing loot. Okay. And I'm so lost. This is the blushing mermaid. There you go. Okay, wonderful. Uh. Okay, first things first. I'm going to go into... I want to check out Hank's home. Yeah, let's check out Hank's home. The singing loot. Uh, the bartender's room. Okay. Hank House. Keep out. Hank House. Hell of a name. We're going in. Let us in, please. You've only got a 10 on your lock. Not the best lock in the world. Is Hank hanging out? Can someone please open the door? Why is the door non-functional? I have to keep going. Let's see. Uh. The door is non-functional. I don't know why the door is non-functional, but it doesn't work. Apparently. We unlocked it and everything, and it just doesn't want to let us in. Therefore, we're going to throw a fireball at it and hope for the best. What the... It seems you owe compensation for the item you just damaged. Sure. I never knew vandalism could prove so costly. Perhaps next time you'll be more careful. Sorry. You just ran inside and warped in. Is it just open? The door's just open. I feel like that's not fair. <laughs> I feel like losing my 10 gold was not fair in that case. How would I know that it's glitched? Um, okay, so apparently this wall is uh, illusory. Or this door is illusory. And I can just walk right through. Clip right through the door. How would I have known that? That's a bit uh, out there. I presume that's not a normal occurrence around here. So, the door still does not function, but I can walk inside, apparently. Uh, various mixa mixology stuff. What? What? Seems you owe compensation. Sure, whatever. It's ten gold. Leave. Leave me. Lyrical draft. Uh, my heart's an empty vase, looking for roses. 
looking for posies and pansies a little color. Brighten up my world, won't you, etc, etc. Let your little petals fall in my clear glass heart. Okay, sure. I feel like that was not really worth my lockpick. And 10 gold, mind you. Uh, the singing loot is down here, and then it opens up to a, another lower level section with various other people. There's a fist leader here. There's a manip down here. Okay. Uh, reservations are open. I'm sure they are. Uh, yes, we will come down here. And then I'll check out those houses I was talking about. What is this building? Oh, this is the, um, right. This is the cargo location. We're very close to the foundry. Or, um, sorry, the, um, the underground prison. Hello, Manip. Or hey, underwater well, prison. You look pretty well geared up. Could you spare a healing potion? I can. But why? You're a Flaming Fist officer. Can't you get one from your quartermaster? <sighs> My problem isn't exactly, uh, official business. I expect to get beaten up by some thugs hired by Herbert Hune. Why? Hurl... Hurl but Hune must be rich if he can afford thugs to attack a flaming fist. So rich they piss in golden pots. Or at least that's what Henrietta tells me. She's Hulbert's daughter. Okay, but who's Henrietta? We was engaged. Okay. Secretly, but now it seems she's set to marry Dirk Rillin. I tried to see Hen, but Papa had other ideas. I can look into this for you. Sounds like a quest. Um, and now you're preparing to be thrashed for love. If I kick up a fuss, it might blow back on Hen. <laughs> She's got troubles enough. Dirk Rillin is a major arsehole. Okay. <laughs> I guess you've never been in love. Rude. Hmm. Or maybe I have. Here, take this healing oh, potion. <laughs> my favorite flavor, too. Thanks, mate. Don't fall for any Patriarch's daughters. <laughs> I'll try to stay out of it. Oh, it's not actually a quest. Uh, I can't again. do anything about this. Still got me head on my shoulders. For now. I wish I could help you with this situation, but I guess I'm not allowed. The singing loot, but the kitchen is closed. But the oak door is available. Tempers are rising. Okay, I'm not allowed in. He is a guard. Fair enough. More food, please. I dined in your fine establishment the other day, and I just wanted to say, incredible. Top notch nosh. Why on earth do you only open in the evenings? Is your chef a vampire or something? If so, get the ladder, last some curtains for the kitchen, and have them serve up more grub. I would gladly stop by every day for lunch if your kitchen would only be open. Fair enough, but, you know, sometimes people have their own obligations. Uh, let's take a look, then. Is this place that popular, huh? Uh, I say that, and then I look, click around back here, um, in somewhat awkward fashion. Don't know what's down here, either. Have I been down here? I think I've been down here. Oh, I've definitely been down there. Yeah. More of those, uh, smugglers and stuff down there. Alright, so what's going on here? Are all the doors broken in this building, or do I have to, like, restart my game or something? The singing loot. So where's the guy? Where's the guy, where's the guy who runs this joint? Huh. I guess he might be in the kitchen, so I might have to sneak my way in. Wonderful. Unless the door is also bugged there, too. Fascinating. Okay, well, he's clearly not upstairs, and I didn't see anything worth picking up. So, what am I getting into? I might need to do, like, a restart or something if all the doors are broken, because this is kind of messed up. Can I just walk in? No. Okay. Sorry. You can open it, though. You're sneaking. Okay, now I'm inside. This doesn't seem normal, does it? This is the... The dumbwaiter, presumably. Yeah, this is the little, like, elevator that they use to send the food up to the kitchen. Or to the, um... To the upper level, but... Everything here is broken. Is that normal? Can I try other doors? Is it just this building? Or will this happen for all the other doors around here as well? This is a bit weird. Um, I still want to get in through the back door as well. There's a broken part of the fence here. Can I jump up here? Path is interrupted. I can probably fly up there if I wanted to. 
Or if I can if I can jump high enough, I can probably jump in through there. Well, I can just jump. This is fine. There's the absolute. Okay, well, uh, this door works. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Okay, so this door works, um, but the problem is there's an absolute symbol, so dude is definitely dead. Rotten Sesekor. We will now speak to this guy. And then I'll probably try to open the front door or something. Uh, hello. hello. Alexander Rainforest is super dead. Lovely. Where's the rat? Where's the rat that was just here? Did it go downstairs? It did. Hello. Bloodstained parchment and a hatch. Blood leading down to the hatch. Uh, I can't unlock this from this side. Wow, the blood drained all the way down to this level. Okay, lovely. Um, can you guys actually jump up here? Or is it too high for you guys? I guess it's too much for you guys. You can probably cast flight and then give it to everyone though. But is that a good use of your transmutation spell? Hmm. Probably not. Honestly, Astarian, you should just go and unlock the damn door. Whatever. No one's gonna see us. You're good at sneaking. Do these refugees count? These refugees don't even count as NPCs. They're just there for flavor. Understood. Yeah, they just they can literally walk past, but they have no vision. Cool. Uh, lovely. And now we're all together once again. So. What's that? No, I definitely saw that. I didn't. I didn't need the perception check. Where's the rat? I want to talk to the rat. Hello. Hello, Rotten Sasekor. Hello, hello. Ooh, are you the new cheese dropper? I do hope so. I'm almost down to the last crumbs. Um, what happened to your last cheese dropper? Alexander was his name. He dropped all manner of morsels, but the cheeses were the best until the red man visited. Uh huh. The red dwarf. Yeah. Tell me about this red man who visited Alexander. The dwarf. All dressed in red. Yep, we met him. He smiled and held Alexander closer, and then Alexander was shouting and struggling, and soon he was all dressed in red as well. Yeah, he probably so knifed him. So many red morsels fell Oof. out of Alexander. They tasted like salt and rust. Yikes. Very good. Even better than cheese. Yeah, because it's bloody. It tasted like blood. Do you realize you ate Alexander's innards? Yes. Tasty. He didn't need them anymore. Gross. Go away now. Your delicious scent makes me crave your morsels. But it would be rude to bite you. Okay, you're causing me some concern. I kind of want to kill you. You smell like a feast. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Just don't bite anyone else or I will come and kill you. Tonight! Mate, we're worried about you. You've gotten too deep into this conspiracy nonsense and honestly, it's making you dull. You're coming out for drinks tonight. The singing loot at sundown. You better be there, or we're gonna have to come and get you, and there's no guarantee we'll be sober. Did they actually come by and try to look for him? I wonder. Um, I guess we'll be looting Mr. Rainforest shortly. Although, I should probably speak to Dead on him. This is the thing I keep forgetting to do. I keep forgetting to cast Speak with Dead. Which is really unfortunate. I'm sure I'm missing a lot of dialogue. Alrighty then. Uh... You know who killed him. What happened to you? Murdered. Obviously. Alright, you don't have to be sassy there, dead body. Um, why were you killed? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Well, you were investigating the cult, so there's that. You, don't, you won't know the killer's name. Uh, where, what were you doing when you died? Investigating. Yep. Odd records. Okay. What odd records? Tombstone. Yep. Yep. Shards. Not a surprise. We know about no that. Owner. Decades now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know which tombstone shop, but I'll ask it anyway. No. Yep. 
We know there's a secret the entrance in the back. You can ask no more questions. But well, that's fine. Okay, well, that didn't give me any new information, but that's okay. Let's, talk. Let's not. Oh, no, nothing on his body. Cheese record. Successful cheeses. Red, white, yellow, sharp, mellow, unsuccessful cheeses, smoked, blue, and waxed. He prefers his cheeses crumbled into little pieces. He actually treated the rat like a like a pet, and then the rat ate him. And didn't appreciate it at all. But I guess that's what you get with animals, right? I mean, at this point, you don't need the silver plate, right? This is ours now. Uh, dried sausage links, you don't need that either. That's worth a sell. I do want to go into the hatch. Bloodstained parchment. This is going to be the same stuff we already know. Uh, yes it is. Okay. We're going in. This is a ritual. Be careful. And the murderer wanted it found. Uh... Kate B. Pole. Winslow Reginald. Bottled Breath. I assume this is some sort of... Some sort of, um... Never done. Treasure vaults? Maybe? Maybe they were, like... Thieves? Uh-oh. Okay, how bad is this gonna hurt? Oh, uh, it's okay. I can live with that. Uh, yeah, apparently. More perception. What am I perceiving? Another trap on the other side of this door. Okay. Uh, can I talk to these dead people? No. That one's too damaged. The corpse has... Okay, fine. Kate B. Paul, Winslow... Hey, you have the foot. The foot smeared with paint, among other things. This must belong to Dribbles. Abazigal, the fourth. The effigy of Abazigal, who soared on shredded wing. What use is pride? He thought himself a dragon, but died as a worm. Below is an exaggerated signature written in blood or in the red. Lovely. Um, what's bottled breath? Gain the ability to cast Gust of Wind once. Uh, sure. I'll hold on to that. Or maybe I'll give it to, um, what's his name? I'll give it to Will. Maybe it'll be relevant to his story. Faded Scroll of Reversal. The time-bitten parchment of this scroll flakes and frays, obscuring most of its content. It, it appears to describe the process for breaking an enchantment that has bound a mighty dragon into another service. That might actually be relevant to Will, so... Interesting. Um, let's check out this door first. I know there's a trap behind this one. With haste. Hello. Uh, various gilded chests. Ooh. Sure, why not? I'll take all this stuff. Anything worthwhile in here? Sure, why not? Observation notes. A note addressed to Alexander Rainforest. All right. My lot have been watching that tombstone spot for a ten day now. Seen a bunch of folk with in big cloaks going in. Only seen a scant few come out though. It's weird. You'd think it'd be quite cramped in there by now with that many folk inside. It's only a tiny shop. Anyway, your lump sum bought you a ten day. You want more of our time? Pay up. All the best, Roa Mungo. Oh hey, that's the um, that's the uh, the merchant down in the um, down in the I want to call it the pits, but you know. The, uh, the smuggler's den. That's what I'm just going to call it. Um, a note detailing the ownership details of Candle Hollow's tombstones. It has existed as Candle Hollow's, Candle Hallow's funeral arrangements for generations, owned by the Candle ha uh, Hallow family. They attempted to rebrand after Leilana Candle Hallow took over to Candle Hallow's tombstones. Rebrand to focus on our core values, getting folk very fast. And then Leilena turned over to the Fist. She was turned over to the Fist uh, for obscene necromantic practices by local adventurers. It's unclear as to where she's jailed. The shop hasn't sold its tombstone in months. She's probably down in um, down in the uh, the underground uh, underwater prison as well. Um, Deed is still being paid for. No note of payee. Just gets paid. How? Well, she. Okay, so that guy upstairs said, "Oh, it's been it's been decades since it's been owned." But no, clearly they it's only been a few months. So that's a little bit of an inconsistency there. 
Traveler's chest. Thank you. Nothing worthwhile. Secret door. That I could just highlight, apparently. And then a very uh, another chest back here. Cool. Um, tombstone shop notes. I've come across several pointers towards the Candle Hallows tombstone shop, so I decided to use my spare time for a while to watch it for suspicious activity. Indeed, the place is strange. It seems disconnected from Candle Hallow's main mortuary business over in Eastway. In fact, they don't seem to sell anything at all. There's one callow shop lad who hangs around looking bored. Otherwise, there's just the occasional customer who enters and then stays inside for a while, sometimes for hours. When they leave, these customers seem different somehow. I'd swear I saw one go in and out in the same clothes, but leave wearing a different face. Must stay alert. I think the shop lad may have noticed me hanging around. I'll give this observation just one more day. Okay, so they saw you and then you got murdered for it. So what? Are they tadpoling people or are they just like doppelgangering? Possibly? Probably? Hmm. Uh oh. Ow. Bit too late for that. Rainforest chest key. Fascinating. And then various weapons, which I will be happily selling. I don't know why I didn't go for the dagger. Is the dagger worth my money? Or rather, is it worth my time? It is. Okay. Fine. Fine. I should probably pick up that other dagger then. I'll take this. What's in the pouch? What's in the chest? Also, um, what's my key for? What key did I just pick up? I have no clue. No idea. I probably already wasted my uh, lockpick on it. So, it is what it is. This looks like it would be a secret door as well, but I don't think it's actually interactive. Yeah, it doesn't even have a health bar, so... Fair enough. Is this another bug door? Ow. It is, in fact, another bug door. And that was the chest key. Okay, fine. Not bad. I don't know why the doors are bugging out for me today. It's weird. Some of them work and some of them don't. But it's very strange. Alright. So that was wonderful, in which case we can now head over towards... Ooh, the serial killer is over there. Nice. Um, let's head over to the mermaid and see what we find. It's over in this direction, I believe. A what now? Kashgard Gorira, Kashgard Taslim. I do appreciate that the banking um, people have their own. Oh, you're just super drunk, aren't you? Have their own uh, uniforms. I'm off the clock, do call. Or I would be if it weren't for this blithering idiot. If you've got business at the counting house, it's just down the road. Oh, thank you. And who are you? Oh, dear. This uniform's neat, isn't it? But why am I. <gasps> Oh, wait. <laughs> I had a shift at the counting house. Oops. <laughs> Oops, I just missed my shift. I possibly lost my job, but okay. Alrighty then. Like Mary Fairweather, that's a good name. Drink. It's so unfair. I tried to go to Duke Gorgeous' ceremony, but it was a closed event. All I wanted was a peek at him. <sighs> He's gorgeous. <laughs> Fair enough. I can see the appeal, I suppose. I guess. He's dressed up like the stereotypical, like, emo, you know, emo teenager, so. Uh, and then this area stretches back up. Why is there a burn scorch mark down there, on the ground there? Hmm. There's a random scorch mark on the ground. This is another building, but this is going towards the, um, the investigate the murders type of deal. So I don't necessarily want to do that. A creased missing poster. Interesting. This is the garden. But I don't really want to go inside. Just my luck to get a sign to Captain Crackwall. <laughs> Might have pissed that one. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, definitely not gonna walk through this just yet. Stay tonight at the Elf Song. Did I ever find the Elf Song? I don't remember. Did I find the Elf Song? I think so. I've been to a couple of the bars. Yeah, I've definitely been. Yeah, all the way up here. Um, the creased missing poster. Missing. Chessa. Reward offered for any information on beloved child gratefully received. 
at the Gur encampment at Worms Crossing. I probably already delivered that information to them then. I've been to the Gurs, uh, to Gurs Cross, or to the Gurs it, at the crossing. I appreciate the fact that their, um, their bar here is shaped like the front of a boat. What's that? I appreciate the design. Okay, get out of my way, don't look at me. Stop judging me. This, it's free real estate. Random dies, random stuff. Eh, kind of junk. Um, okay, should I just go in from the lower level? Hey, Rince Brigley. The blushing mermaid is an adrift shipwreck in more ways than one. For starters... Excuse me? I must return to my work. The Baldur's Mouth Tavern Review doesn't write itself. I will say, very, very impressive architecture. It's uh, definitely a statement. The first time you walk into it, I'm very impressed. Definitely makes it memorable, at least. Uh, so, that's just some guy who's passed out down there. Various random mailboxes. Shimmer the Amazing. Mr. Shimmer. I've been to every one of your shows, even though my dad says I'm too young for the Blushing Mermaid. You're the best performer I've ever seen in my whole life. Could you please teach me how to dance? You won't have to do much. I'm already super good. I can do two cartwheels in a row. I'll help you do your makeup, wash your sparkly outfits, do your hair, whatever you need. I'll be the best student you ever had, on Illmater's word. I'll be at your show later. I'm the girl with the blonde curly hair, which I think would look great with one of your blue ribbons in it. I'm just saying. Can't wait to get started. Lots of love, Mindy. Okay, so she's a kid, right? Unpaid debts. Captain. Heard that bollocks Bruno Indomicus is working off a debt of yours. He owes me a pretty penny on Baldur's Bones, and I intend to collect. Tell him to send me one of his fingers, or better yet, do the deed yourself. I'll be checking the mailbox later. It better not be empty. Brinks. A different hand appears beneath the letter. Brinks, I ought to drown you in your own piss for such dramatics. Who do you think you are? Nine fingers? Try that shit with her. I dare you. As for Bruno, come and find me at the maid. We'll settle his debt and add it to his tab. No missing fingers needed. Bows and Gannet. Okay, so the owner or the people who work in the uh, in the maid are named after, are titled after um, positions on a on a ship. Cool. Flowery shite. Gannet. I've just had the worst night of my life. Yes, worse than that one time with the bear and Chult. You know, I had time with the bear. Um, I'm in Kalisham. And I decided to hit up that bar everyone goes on about. The Copper Tap? You know, the one that makes its own award-winning brews? Well, I tried one. Tasted like flowers had a wank on my tongue. I've knocked back ten pints of ale since, and I can still bloody taste it. Have a couple of barrels of your swill next time I'm ready- I'm uh, sorry. Have a couple barrels- blah, 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 blah. Have a couple of barrels of your swill ready next time I dock. I think that piss you call booze is the only thing that'll get this shite off my tongue. PJ Stubbs. Cool. He was not impressed. Here's Mr. Shimmer. He is alive, but unconscious and drunk. Is this the guy with the loot? Is this the loot guy? I can't wake him up either. I can attack him, but I don't think I can do anything about it. He's just drunk. There's nothing I can do about him. I think. Yeah, I don't think there's like a spell or anything that I can do to wake him up. I unfortunately. Okay, this guy's like really smug and rude. Um, okay, so he probably lives in the singing loot. That's probably the guy. Question mark. More drunk people. If I'm not swinging a hammer working, I'm swigging a mug here drinking. Fair enough. Unconscious person that I can't interact with. Uh, hello, Zena. Keep bloody wits about you in here. The captain is trying to keep it hush hush, but I heard a kid got nabbed. Um, they did in fact get nabbed. I know. <laughs> the ch the child should have known better. That's just a drow thing. Um, I know. The child is called Vanra, right? Knew it. No wonder Captain Grizzly shoots daggers at anyone who mentions it. My guess, it's them squatters. 
spotted a bunch of misfits sneaking into one of them boarded up houses. Ugh. No, that's and the Hags survivor group. Gortash will find that kid and sort all this out. Just you wait. Sure. Can I ask you some more questions, please, Zena? Sooner Lord Gortash cleans this place up, the better. Mm, I don't think you'll be happy when that happens. And Grimbus. Wondrous news. Baldur's Gate has a new duke. Gortash will do marvelously. Don't you think? No. I don't. Um, Nisha Lisha, that's Your the name. Dared me to come here alone for a couple of mugs of ale. So here I am. Isn't it too early for you to be drinking? Oh, you should make yourself scarce. There's a killer loose, and you're a target. Huh. Come on, mate. Who would want me dead? Uh, persuasion. Yeah, time to die. I could just straight up do it myself. Um, okay, please listen to me. Others have died already. You are in danger. Please succeed. Nice. Okay, that was close. Oh shit! You're serious. Yes, I am. I can see it in your eyes. I've got to shit. I've got a tab to settle. Shit. I can pay it off. Don't you worry. Oh, there she goes. Well, I'm sure so. Well, she despawned, so I guess she's okay. Here we are, the blushing mermaid. Hello, Sven. You're going on a date? Are you joking? Rude. The city is a hair's breadth from violence, and we're shipping off at first light. So? I'll be back by then. Mate, you'd be late to your own funeral. Look, skip the date, and I'll take you out the next time we port. All right? Ooh. Her eyes shine with concern and love. Yep. That of more than a friend. Hmm. I'm going to go for not the mock persuasion, right? I'm going to go for the straight up normal persuasion. This woman clearly loves and worries about you. You should listen to her. This is an easy, an easy persuasion check. That was still way too close. Love? Uh, well, I, I wouldn't go that far, but yeah, I'm worried about you, mate. The ship wouldn't be the same without you. Oh, come on. You know I'm a sucker for that soppy shit. Fine, no date. But let's say we grab another one here for the road. My treat. Deal. I hope it works out for them. Although the dude seems oblivious, as Mary's is normal, I guess. Blush. So, where are you taking me out and next port? <laughs> I'm thinking expensive. All right, fair Nowhere enough to this guy. If you don't finish your drink and move. Wonderful. Okay. Um, what else have we got? Hello there, Placer Varen. You the Cap'n? Nope, you're Bows and Gannet. You had to choose the rat one or the blonde one. Which should I? Which would you choose? I think I need some more context here. Yeah. What are you talking about? Red one or blonde one? Um... Well, I've got red hair. Red one. Right. Are you You're Orin so in disguise? Bosun, oh, okay. A red ale, please. All right. Fair enough. Beautiful red ale. The taste, the feel. How could I have doubted her? Honestly, I feel like you should step away from the ale and maybe find some other. Oh my goodness, that statue. Fascinating. Anyway, I'm very distracted by this. Hello, Bozen. No pissing or shitting. Okay. If you break it, you pay for it. Any fighting and Captain Grizzly or sank you. Got it. I like the theme that you guys have going on here. Very cool. Uh, I'll follow the rules. Huh, what if I really, really need to use a latrine? Then piss in your cup. Like the rest of us. Hilarious. I'll follow the rules. Good. Welcome to the Blushing Mermaid. Thank you. Can I ask you about the missing girl? If you're here to complain that the booze tastes like piss, I know. Anything else? Uh, I'm here about a missing girl, Vanra. Gods above. Not again. You pull a knife on me like the last one and you're getting a boot, you hear? Oh, that was probably the, uh, the mother. Who pulled a knife on you? That woman, Laura, Yeah, that's, Laura, that's the mother. Whatever her bloody name is. She was screaming her head off about some kid. Tore the place apart. 
<sighs> Bloody disturbing. Captain Grizzly had a clocker in the end. Threw her out on her arse. Good riddance. So who's Captain um, Grillsby anyway? If you're here to complain that the booze tastes mm. like pit guards above. Not again. You pull a knife on me like that. Didn't think a tough guy like you would be scared of a little knife. I've killed people with a splinter, mate. Of course I'm wary of a blade. Fair enough. Lara, Laura was her yep, yep, yep. Captain. Um If you're here to complain. Okay, so you're wares. If you must. Only food, as you would expect. Defend okay, we can sell a few things to you though. It's a good thing that the merchants here aren't uh, limited by uh, only the items that they actually peddle in. And they're not... They don't have any qualms about buying stolen goods. Because I remember back in, like, Oblivion and stuff, whenever you went to a merchant, it's like, Oh, they'll only buy things that they'll actually sell. Which was Enjoy a little annoying. Uh, okay, so my quest updated when I came in here. Uh, where are you? Save Anra. The Blushing Mermaid bartender told us that Laura was behaving strangely. She even pulled a knife on him. The owner of the tavern, Captain Grizzly, had to throw Laura out. We should speak to Captain Grizzly about it. When you say Laura was behaving strangely, I mean, she's the mother of a missing child, right? So it's not that weird, is it? What's in here? The Blushing Mermaid basement. I just got experience for coming in here. There's random gold just chilling up here. I'ma do it. Hmm, what's that? An illusory wall? Oh. I see. This is one of Auntie Ethel's uh, tricks, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of Auntie Ethel's um, illusions. Okay, cool. We're going back down, though. But I might have triggered something, so I need to avoid doing a long rest. I'm going to do a manual save just in case. Um, I want to find the captain. I want to speak to the captain. There's a lot of unconscious people up here. There's Captain Grizzly. You look a little un... Sister of the Seeing Pearl. Why do you all look like you're affected by magic? Hmm. Oh! That must be what happened with the, um, the guards person, too. The guards person, um, when Laura was reporting the... I see, yeah, I didn't realize at the time that it was gonna be, you know, match like, hag-related, but that makes sense. Okay. Uh, cause she was acting strange when, uh, when Laura was reporting the crime. Hello, Tipplesome patron. If you're here for the music, look elsewhere. It's like listening to a cat being flogged up here. You have a lot of HP. I'm a little concerned about the fact that you have a lot of HP. Seems like we might end up fighting. Uh... Another Tipplesome patron. You are human, though. None of you are doppelgangers. Uh, Nafula, that's some hair, lady. I'm not a cow you can sell on the market. Please, honey. Creditors are clawing at our door. This marriage will save the business. Just meet the Nilsson son. One meeting. For us. For your family. Excuse me, madam. Quick question. Would you marry a stranger so your family can make buckets of gold? Um, no, but at least you can meet them. Yeah, I don't know about marriage, but I meet with them at least. See? I'll tell your mother to make arrangements. But, uh, you don't have to commit. You might like the guy. You never know. Word. You'll meet the Nilsson boy, and you're going to love him. I promise. I mean, it doesn't hurt to, you know... Take a look. The Nielsen boy is a lovely chap. Good family stock too. This marriage is for the best. You'll see. Sure, Dad. I'm not telling you to commit to a marriage. I'm telling you, hey, test the waters a bit. At least, you know, say hi to the person. You don't have to commit. Uh, did I talk to you yet? The captain is gonna belt the heads off these lads if they keep singing. Stick around. It's gonna be quite the show. Oh, I'm sure. Hello, Tud Whetstone. Wanna hear a hot one? Sure. The other day, I met some folks who banded together to fight back. Against what, you ask? The hags. Hags? Yep. How stupid can you get? Uh-huh. 
Uh, what the hell's going on back here? Anyone in this room? Disguise kit? That's concerning. Why is there a disguise? Although, I mean, if, if they're performers, it makes sense for them to want makeup. Uh, tipple some patron. You also have a weapon. So you've got a weapon on your back. You have a weapon on your back. You have 110 health. You, I'm not seeing an obvious weapon on you, but you have a decent amount of health. I have a bad feeling about this. Slog. Bruno Indomicus. I've read that name before. It was in the letter that I just read. Alright, what's going on? Underwear, just chilling. Captain Grizzly. She glared at me once. Nearly pissed myself. It was amazing. Mm hmm. Uh. <laughs> various underwear just chilling on the on, on the ground here. Sharp in case the captain calls on me. She likes a bit of pearl diving. Spot of keel hauling. Yo, argy bargy if you get me. Uh, sure. You're not staff me. Oh, no, you're patrons. Yeah, you're not staff. Ain't no better grizzly than captain. I mean, captain than grizzly. Sure. And you? Okay. Another. Another! Yep. I like it when the voice actors are clearly having fun. Um, you're just unconscious and I can't talk to you. This, there's, there's nothing in here. Hello, Slog. Who are you? What's up? If you're some big fan of Duke Gortash, turn your ass around and walk. Preferably straight into the Arbor waters. No, I think we're on the same side here. And Bruno and Domicus. Word of advice, don't open a tab here. I didn't pay for something. Ah, that's right. Months, and suddenly, it's work off your debt or lose a limb. Not a bit of reason on them. Uh, six months, sir. That is actually forever. You don't expect them to just give you, you know, give you food for free, right? Alright, so what's going on here? I want to deal with this. I'll find her, I'll talk to her, she'll probably not know what's going on, and then I'm going to go downstairs and deal with her, with uh, Auntie Ethel. Can't a captain be bloody hung over in peace? Oh. Why, hello there. Captain General Grizzly Kenobi. Service. What can I do for a long drink of water like yourself? Um... <laughs> what services do you offer? Oh, there's drinks of plenty at the bar. Anything else? Well, those days are behind me. Even for one as fine looking as yourself. Uh huh. Uh, doesn't a captain need a ship? This place is shaped like a ship. You're standing in it, exactly. smart Or our innards, at least. Hm. She may not sit on water no more, but she'll always be my ship. You know, actually, that's pretty cool. She used to be a captain of a real ship, and then when they uh, they decide to scuttle it or reuse it, they turn into a into a bar. Cool. Um, I'm here about a missing girl. Oh, not this claptrap again! Listen, Laura was here, all right, knocking back pints like there's no tomorrow, but she was alone. I saw head nor ass of this so-called kid. And when we tried to kick her out, she pulled a knife on my front man. Bet she didn't tell you that bit, huh? No, she didn't. If Laura's daughter isn't here, where is she? <sighs> not a notion. But not a soul has seen this so-called vanna of hers, myself included. Look, I know Laura from my pirating days. She ran with Bart Blackdagger's crew. Heard they tossed her overboard when she gutted the bosun over a game of cards. Now, I'd no beef with her before this. All are welcoming the maid. But threatening my staff, claiming we took her kid, she's bonkers. <laughs> Dangerous. Hmm. Next time she pulls a knife on me and mine, someone might die. Something has to be done. Um, I'll talk to her, see if I can calm her down. No, a child is missing. I just want to get to the bottom of this. If I push too far, she might call her dudes to attack. Gods! Do I have to spell it out for you? There is no child. Laura is mad as a box of frogs. She's I don't believe dangerous. you. 
and I couldn't call myself a captain if I stood by and did nothing. I hate that it's come to this, but I'll pay a hoard of gold to whoever scuppers her permanently. Uh, that's insane. No less insane than lying about having a kid. If you don't do it, I'll find someone else. You can make it painless. Not everyone will. Uh, I'll need to think about it. Well, don't take too long. Or someone else might get there before you. Uh-huh. Well, guess what? The reason I don't believe you at all is, uh... Well, you know... There's a illusory wall down here that is very clearly... <laughs> one of the, uh... Very clearly one of, uh, Auntie Ethel's illusory walls. So, I'm just gonna go through. Too obvious. Way too obvious. Ethel's lair key. Why does it remind me of Auntie Ethel's home? What do you mean? You knew it was going to be Auntie Ethel's home. Mask of Servitude. Oh, I'm going to have to kill all these people again. I wish I didn't have to. I wish non-lethally taking them out would be an option. But we can probably sneak through here. What are we perceiving? Oh. Oh. I tripped it, but nothing happened. Okay. I think we should probably save. We're going in. We're not going in. Wyvern toxin, that's bad. Uh, let's all group hide as well. Alright, it's up to you, Astarian. How hard is this going to be? That's doable. For Astarian, easy to be. Yeah, not a, not a challenge. We're going through... He's been mocked! Okay, that's fine. Can we open the door, please? Where does this lead? I don't know where this leads. There's a pearl spore bell that heals people, apparently. There's a pit, just a random chasm. I think we should take out... Oh, where are we? What is all this? Healing Pearl, Volatile Fungus. What do you mean? Oh! Link to her with fell magic. These mushrooms keep Auntie Ethel alive until they are destroyed. Fascinating. So I've actually found her, um, the stuff that's keeping her alive. Okay, well, we're definitely taking, getting rid of those. Maybe from range? Let's do it from range. Okay, I guess we don't- we just don't have advantage against it. Is it melee only? Okay. Uh... How did we miss? Okay... And now it works. Oh, but it heals very quickly. Do we need something that, like does a ton of damage because it just healed a hundred. Is it because we hadn't attacked it a bit? It just heals to a hundred. But what do you mean by volatile fungus? It'll explode when destroyed. It grants the hag plus five to all saving throws. Poison immunity, psychic immunity. Okay, what about us setting it on fire? Barrel stock, what is that? That seems bad as well. Should we destroy it? Alright. Don't know what the purpose of that was. There's a lot of these. Do I have stuff to, to throw them down a chasm? Or anything along those lines? This is all prep work, isn't it? Scroll of Sunbeam. Yeah, but that's not going to do enough damage. So let's say you throw a fireball. How much damage will the fireball do? Look, it's done. Not anywhere near enough, and it's gonna heal the full. Yeah. Hmm. Very clearly, I'm missing something. Unless I go. 
Hmm. Unless I go into turn base mode. Yeah, if I go into turn base mode and then jump across and smack it. Uh, maybe I'll have a better chance here. I can't sneak attack it, unfortunately. But I can throw a fireball. Let's play. Barely did any damage with it, but you know, it's something. Uh, you do the same. Don't hit me. She definitely wants to hit me. Okay. Yep, smack it. Okay. Can you blast it? I just blasted me in the back. Okay, that's not exactly how I wanted that to go. Um, hmm. The fact that they heal back so quickly is a little concerning. I assume there's probably like an actual efficient way to do this. Presumably. Hopefully. <laughs> Okay, let's just do it with this one that's right in front of us. Everyone up. Time for discretion. And we'll try that again. So, uh, turn based mode. That's not going to do anything, so you're probably better off just throwing the fireball. Okay, that did more damage this time. That's good. That's not terrible. Fry to the gate. Okay, we're close. We're almost there. Okay. Ow. Wait. You just spawned in, like, right on top of me. I killed you. Did you think you were the first? That I didn't plan for it, Petal? That said, I'm shocked and appalled, Petal. I can't believe you try to gush me out in the open like that. Don't I have a poison for you? After all, it's not just me anymore. I'm... What is it they say? Eating for two. Oh, wait. You ate the kid. You ate the kid. It's in your belly. You're pregnant? I... Gobbled myself up a sweet little girl, and she was so very tasty. Well, the fun part is I have poison for you a that will defeat you. In my belly, growing fat with power. In time, I'll vomit her up and have myself a fresh young hag to train. Lovely. I have you beat, so do the heroic thing. Which is? Die. That's not heroic. Are you gonna fight me right here? Oh, you're gonna fight me right here. You just spawned into this room. Come, darlings. Oh, now she's calling her dudes. Okay. Oh, those are the masks. Shit. That's not good. Oh, I, I, I might have to non-lethally do this for her. No. This is bad. I don't want to kill Grizzly. These randoms I'm okay with killing. Okay. Okay. If she dies, she's taking the child with her. Yeah. Uh hag pregnancy. This hag has eaten the child to transform her into a newborn hag. Killing the hag will lead to the child's death. Is this ethyl or an illusion? That's a good question. I guess if we just throw uh, an AoE at them, we'll find out, won't we? I just... Okay, I just... That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to throw a toxin, actually. Because now, if I throw this... I can uh, hit her and potentially a second person. Eh, it's fine. I can just shoot her. So it is the real one. Okay, that's fine. 
Um, where's that anti-hag poison? Sometimes the only way out is through. I need that anti-hag poison. Uh, maybe it should be in my latest, my latest pickups. Yeah. Where are ya? Hag's bane. Do I throw it? Tell me I throw it. Path is interrupted though. That seems bad. Keep going. Okay. Hag's bane. Thank goodness I came here first. Okay, I have nothing to do but to throw it. 90%. What did you Stay down, Vanra? Oh. Release Vanra right now. No. Stay down. Uh, unpleasant, unpleasant. That's rude of you to say. Alright, run away, kid. Good. She's out. I might as well just go in there. Who cares about the fungal resistance? Resonate. Good. Uh, I can make her detonate as well. Wonderful. For the fallen. For the fallen! We're definitely spawning in our guy. We're spawning in the fire one. Always the fire one. Never any other one. Wonderful. We're doing it. Hiya! Good. Uh, get her. Okay, that could have gone better, but that's fine. Triple blast? Oh, only path is interrupted and disadvantaged. I'm disadvantaged because this guy's on my ass, isn't it? I could probably blast him away. Or push him. Only a 30% chance, though. Mm. I may need to try blasting him, and then this is interrupted. So blast him far away? He did not get blasted. Ow! And then he hit me back. That's less than ideal. Uh. Drink. Those are fakes, that's fine. Nope. That's fine. That's still fine. Oh, I think we actually have to hit them to make them disappear, if I recall correctly. Okay. Okay. So, what do you mean by Hag's Pawn? Ethel has taken control. Condition lasts until the mask is removed or the spellcaster is dead. Got it. I need to take her out. But with those healing mushrooms... It might just res her, right? They keep her alive until they're destroyed. But how would I destroy them? This is going to be a hell of a fight, isn't it? If I if she doesn't perma-die until those, those get destroyed. Okay. They need a wisdom save in order to uh, to uh, stop being corrupted, huh? Okay. Uh, less than ideal. Less than ideal. Get her. Okay. She's not dead though. She's got fungal resurrection. Um. So now what? Haste spores, that's good, I guess. Oh, the haste spores will let me move again, so then I can actually take out the the bells. I think. So I should come here and pick up the haste spore. Can you get a haste spore? Maybe not. Uh in that case, elemental warp right there. You are s gonna smash the crap out of this mushroom. Okay. Can't even catch my breath. Um. 
Is it worth the jump? Probably. This is worth it. We know she's not dead. Fungal resurrection is kicking in. The hag will be resurrected by nearby pearl spore bells at the start of their next turn, which is coming up. Um, for the time being, though, you shouldn't. You should. You guys shouldn't be attacking me, though. In theory. I don't know how I'm disadvantaged while attacking. A, you know, a freaking mushroom. But all right. Don't you dare miss on a mushroom, please and thank you. Kill it! Good. Uh, go pick up the haste spores. Wonderful. And then we can start working on the pearl spore bells that are all the way over here. That's quite far away. Yes, that's quite far away. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Not enough movement. Okay, that's a little concerning. Let's do a level 5 heal on you. Not enough movement. Okay. Let's throw a health potion on... Nope. Someone give me a health potion, please. That'll do. I will just throw this right over here. Good. No holding back. Um... I have to warp away from this dude. Get away from me. All right. That's good. I didn't pick up the. I didn't pick up the uh, the haste spores though. Okay. Anti Ethel's gonna get up. All right. I definitely should have like pre-gamed. Ow. I'm really missing the AoE heals at this point. Uh, we could rebuke her. Never mind. There's no real purpose to it though, is there? Ow. Stop. Okay. Uh, everyone run and then Misty Step, I guess. Taste spores. Uh, Misty Step. Uh, what do you think is better? Fireball? Probably Fireball. Okay, throw another one. Okay. Uh, warp. All the way... Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Just warp over here. And then get started on smacking this Ethel. I see there's another one here. That's the real one? Yeah, okay, that's the real one. That's what I thought. Uh, I also need to warp, and I don't think I have a fast way to do that. Mm. Fly? Scroll of Fly works. Uh, Misty? Misty step as well. Right to the haste. Hello? Do I have haste? I don't. Mm. There you go, okay. And I can probably hold this a body myself. Very good. And then what? Just run all the way over here and then... And then do what? I don't really have range attacks, do I? And I can't jump, can I? Yeah, not enough movement speed. Uh... I don't think I have anything else I can do. Potion? Can I drink a potion? Can I drink a potion of speed? Because that's always helpful. Although I'm probably already experiencing speed effects. Haste spores. Uh, okay, but if I drink the potion of, um, where is it? Potion of speed. I get to go again? Or no? I can't, apparently not. Okay, that was a bit of a waste. Fine. Um, you will also miss the step. I don't like that we're all kind of standing really close by to each other on a ledge. 
because that makes it really easy for them to not knock us all off, doesn't it? Just an observation. Okay, now we're all in danger. Oh, or not. Okay. Uh, maybe you should drink a potion of speed. If only I could, you know, find them in my inventory and know what... and organize it accordingly. Uh, or are you already hasted? You're not hasted right now. Okay. Pushing a speed. Where are ya? I guess I can always just do it this way. No choice but to keep going. Push, uh, speed. Split the item. Just split into one. Okay. Where's the split item? I don't know where the split item went. Okay, well, give give him one. Just the one. Yes. This is my time. Drink it. Do it again. Uh Okay, there's Vanra. Now, that's all the mushrooms I know of in here. Unless there's somehow more that I was not aware of, in which case, well, that's on me, I guess. I think I think he should try to become resistant to to psychic. Resilience to acid, coal, lightning, force, fire, necrotic, piercing, poison, slash radiant, psychic there. Go for it. Lovely. That's not good. Also not good. We're all on incredibly low health. That's the biggest problem. Ow. Stop that. Okay, we're, we're now dying. Wow, that hurts a lot. We're in real danger now. Okay. What the hell? Well, I know you're here. I think we're dead, though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, everyone's dying. This is not great. We're all in deep trouble. Uh, deep trouble. So, Ethel's around here somewhere, but I have no way of dealing with it. I don't want to kill everyone. Although, I mean, in theory, I could just go non-lethal and knock them all out. But if I recall correctly, if you tried that in the first area, they were considered dead anyway, and you couldn't save them. So I'm kind of like... Would it bug out this time as well? Hmm. Or was there more I could have done? I mean, I could have taken out all of these dudes in advance, but... Hmm... I don't know. At this stage, though, it's pretty obvious that I'm not going to be able to complete this fight. So I'm going to call it right here. Um, I know it's a bit of a cliffhanger, I suppose. Um, next episode, we're going to uh, redo this fight from scratch. I hope that you enjoyed what you saw here today and that you're doing well wherever you are. This has been Karst with Baldur's Gate 3. Have a great day, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.